Hello everyone, Tanak here. Welcome to episode 71 of Building My Industrial Empire in EVE Online. So let's start with the progress report. As you can see, my network plus that of the corporation is now 221 billion ISK. If you go at the tracker here, you can see that there is a drop this week. We went back to where we were about two weeks ago. Uh, I'll explain in a minute. Uh, the value, if you go like uh, like by character, Tanak gained a little bit, 1.3 bill. Uh, Erica gained a little bit too. Uh, I got two, two person that uh, that actually uh, activated uh, an Omega on one of my uh, links. So I did uh, get a few, uh, like I'm getting four uh, Cerebral Accelerator every time that happened. So that's some free money that's going on Erica because I'm selling those uh, straight away. I'm probably going to buy Skill Injector for Tanak uh, with that. Uh, toy Company dropped a little bit. So all in all, we're about uh, five billion less than last week uh, so that's it for the progress report the reason this happened was uh, well you'll see when we'll get to military uh, so there is uh, there, uh, we, we did have a little fight that cost us a little bit <laughs> that's it for the prod uh, actual financial part uh, Next part, HR thing moved a little bit uh, this week. Uh, as you can see in uh, Alliance, we are now at uh, 461 member. Uh, so 461 member. Uh, as you see also, we're Alliance number 69. So I feel that we've won Eve at this point. Uh, I'm done. No. <laughs> uh, no. So uh, it's a little less member than last week. Uh, what happened if uh, you look at our active corp? Uh, we uh, uh, the steel pigs with guns uh, left the alliance on a good term with us. Uh, it wasn't a fight or anything, but. Uh, after a discussion with their CEO, they were looking for an area of space that wasn't as busy yet as what we have now. So they were looking for, a, uh, I think, a calmer null experience than what we are providing. Uh, so one of the main reason that I've uh, that I've discussed with them was that that's a, that the part of that was that they was uh, harder to crab in the area and a few other things but i mean all in all they left on on good terms so we're not angry with them they just moved to something else and a new corp uh, join uh, absolute order 14 some of you might recognize the name uh, they are part of the absolute honor group uh, that we fought when we invaded the space uh, we didn't have any long-term beef with them and after talking with a few of their members, they have a group that is uh, living in Null, and uh, we are providing them, uh, well, we're providing a home for some of their pilots. So that's a little collaboration that we have with this group right now. Uh, they, they have joined the Alliance, so that's a new corp in the Alliance uh, for now. Uh, so that's that's about that's about it for the HR level. Uh, so all in all, we're still around like a f between a four and five hundred uh, member. Uh, our number of active pilot is uh, hovering between one twenty and one forty, depending on the day, uh, depending on who fought recently. Uh, so that would make us in the local area. The bigger group is uh, is Benderlog, uh, Volta. Like I said, I they they are bigger, but they are like a multi-region, and they just have a small small group here. But they are they're like the like in the local area where we are, the big group are Volta and Frat. Uh, but in pure blind per se, very active in pure blind. I would say. Uh, you got Banderlog as the big group and toilet paper and us would 
uh, that would make WAMP like the third biggest group in the area. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for HR. Again, we're still recruiting. Uh, we we have uh, recruit coming in. Uh, we have people that try the corp. Uh, again, not everybody is going to be happy in every corp. So we do have some cycle. Like we had a big bump uh, after the talking in station interview. Uh, and some some enjoyed it, and some are, are still here. Some tried it, didn't like it. I mean, that's part of the that's part of the game. You you will have a little turnover. Uh, aside from that, uh, military. Okay, uh, military. Uh, this week we had one large fight where Benderlog tried to entosis again uh, BDV3. They came with Macarial and we formed Macarial to fight them. Uh, the fight was more or less uh, uh, like a one hour standoff. I wasn't there personally, it happened while I, while I was at work. Uh, but we fought, uh, there was a more or less a one hour standoff. And at one point, uh, Volta came in and third party to fight and shot us. So if you see the battle report, uh, Bender lo lost like one bill. We lost about 10 bill worth of ship. Uh, and uh, the other group, uh, Toilet Paper, uh, was assisting us in the beginning. Uh, and then they, at, they 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 assist us for the first first fight, so they lost their lodgy wing to uh, to Bender. And then on the second part of the fight, uh, while we were attacking Bender, Volta came and third party us, so we lost a bunch of material, about ten bill worth of ships. So that explained the loss that we have in the core value because it was SRP. Uh, the loss isn't as big, uh, like we didn't drop 10 bill in, in value because again, we always have some guys that are not asking for SRP and we, we did have revenue this, uh, this month. So we, we've lost all, all in all, I would say we cost us about, uh, seven bill in SRP, uh, which is still significant for a corp our size. Uh, I mean, for these guys, it's probably just content, but for us, it is a, it is probably the biggest loss we've had so far. What are you gonna do? You you deal with it. <laughs> it happened. It happened. It's no. It's not like uh, it's not like any like we can change something about this at this point uh, right now. So that was the big fight of the week. Rest of the week, though, we were even that. If that one was not in our favor. The rest of the week was very, very good for Rome. Uh, a good example that you can see here is you see that Corp is now at 20, 36% dangerous. But if you look at the, the Alliance is at 36% dangerous. But if you will go weekly, we're at 50%. So the past week has been good for us. Kill wise, we're, we're getting to uh, we're, we're getting better at this uh, local PVP. Uh, again, when you get into an opponent like this, who's just out of your league, because I mean, we, we can't fight a, a fleet of 50 nightmare. <laughs> this is just that's, that's just it. <laughs> Uh, but aside from that, we've got uh, like su some good kill. One of our Rome here, this one I was on the Rome. Uh, we had a Buster jump into us, cloaked, but we managed to uncloak him. So that's a 1.5 building kill. And this one is a little trophy because Raw Style, I've talked with, I've talked about him before. He's an incredibly good pilot, and our guys managed to to take him out. So that one is frame it on my wall because uh, that doesn't happen often so uh, that's one of our our good kills so all in all i would say that military wise aside from that battle which was a third party and we did have also a little uh, messed up on grid where our logi anchor uh, didn't get the warp uh, so th that was like it could have gone a little better from what I've understood. Again, I wasn't there at the fight, so I can't really comment on the specific tactical uh, what was happening. I'm just re relaying what was what was said to us. Uh, again, this this will not 
break us, like you say, like you saw on the money wise, we, we did take a little hit, but we're still, I mean, it's a, we've been in worse situation financially before that. Uh, but it does change a little bit the flexibility that we have on the, on the political side. So uh, that's pretty much it for the military wise. Uh, uh, industrial industrial operation what we have been doing uh, is uh, we've taken the time where it's a little less we're not in any growth phase or anything so we're we're uh, moving station around so anchoring a new station and anchoring another one uh, we're retooling our like optimizing our space when we first came in, we anchored where we could, where it was easier. Right now, we're optimizing and uh, like making sure that we have uh, uh, like station that need to be on gate or on gate station that need to be around a good moon or around a good moon, so stuff like that. So we're probably going to end up with another factory uh, in the end when we're done and at least one other moon and the moon we've uh, the moon we're going to anchor around is going to give us uh, at least three other reaction that we are that we couldn't do so we are adding more mineral variety to be able to run more reaction in pocket uh, this is going to help obviously it's going to and especially with the new change in industry where a reaction is going to be even more important so this will help us uh, moving forward we should get access to at least a few more types of reaction uh, aside from that we are getting like people interested again in buying caps uh, capital price have been growing through the roof right now uh, we're talking went from uh, mineral cost alone you will you're almost now at four, at four bill to build a cap uh, and that's not even counting the new uh, the, the new change that are coming with the new blueprint so uh, right now, most of our our industrialists, what they're doing is they're still uh, crabbing and piling up their cap to hopefully they they think that they're going to be able to sell them higher when the, the new change come around. Uh, we will see. Uh, I'm somebody that believe in offer and demand. I think that if caps get to a point where they're so expensive, people are going to stop using them as much or they're going to use them less because they're, they're going to be too expensive. And what it will do is the price will eventually balance out. I don't think that caps at five bill, for example, are sustainable long term. Uh, there will be downward pressure because people are, I mean, if you're an FC, you're not going to throw cap away at, at that price or you're going to throw less or you're going to be more careful you're just going to use them when you're really really sure you're not going to lose them or so i think it's all offer and demand but in the end prices of everything are driven by the amount of money in circulation that kind of eventually fix the price of what things go for uh, i don't know if, if if i am explaining it properly but so you can look at the fundamental, you can look at the mineral price and everything, but in the end, you need somebody to be to be buying your end product or it's not worth anything. And if it's getting too expensive, uh, people are going to look at cheaper option. There's a lot of talk internally like, OK, uh, like for, for a good example is we, we we're, we're starting to introduce material, but material price are going up. So are we going to keep material as a doctrine fleet if material co costs two bill each? Probably not. We're probably going to look at something that's uh, like that that's within our budget, I would say. So these calculation, everybody, every alliance leader is making those calculations or every alliance military leader should be making or is, is making these types of calculation, I assume. Uh, and the, these decisions will will drive the price up or down depending so anyway we'll we'll see so that was pretty much it for the industry 
So big retooling of our, our infrastructure, adding adding at least a, a fourth moon. So we 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 already mining three moon. So we we plan on adding a fourth one. Um, political landscape uh, or pure blind politic, if I would say. Uh, there was a big push against Bender uh, about two weeks ago. Well, paper took some space, quote took some space, Flying Dangerous pushed a little bit. Uh, and then there was a push back from Bender. Uh, Bender did multiple push to try to entosis our system. Uh, we had the fight this week. Uh, we started discussing with Bender, uh, especially after, after the Volta third party, uh, because uh, basically we can't afford to have large fleet in space, expen large expensive fleet in space, uh, when there's that big, a, when there's a large risk of third party. So what is happening is following that, we've started talking with Bender and basically agreed to a cessation of hostility between our two parties. Uh, we are keeping defensive alliance with uh, some of our, uh, well, with our key allies in the area and that, that's agreed upon with uh, with Bender. Uh, but all in all, we're not going to try to take their system and they're not going to try to take our system according to what, what we agreed with them. Uh, the rest of what is happening in pure blind, uh, I have no clue, but somebody who did it, it who did that, but somebody in TOSA's uh, KQK 1-2. Uh, and it's coming out uh, on the 28th, so that's to uh, oh, that's like okay, that's five days from now. Uh, so this one, uh, no, on the 24th. Sorry, what am I saying? 20, 24th. So that's uh, that's a few hours from now. Uh, and there's going to be an entosis battle here. Uh, we'll see who it is. Uh, aside from that, I don't think there's going to be, at least from the information I got, I don't think there will be a major offensive on, of, on any of the party here. Again, I don't have perfect information. I'm just telling you what I know. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, all in all, it was uh, well. Because it it was a week that was more uh, a little calmer than what we were used to, but still some some key change on HR or corp leaving a new corp joining a big battle. So there there's always something happening. Uh, what can you expect in the following week? Well, for us, we're going to crab a little bit to try to rebuild our our buffer, uh, our monetary buffer. That's obviously something we want to do. Uh, we're going to keep roaming. Uh, we're doing roam every night, going to grow, uh, enter, grow, keep growing our number, which is the key to eventually get to a point where we can claim more space. Uh, we are in an area where growth is, uh, I mean, there's a lot of competition in pure blind. Uh, I would say Bender is clearly a big corp. We can't really think of uh, attacking Volta and uh, we have a pretty good solid relationship with the Flying Dangerous, so we're not going to attack them. So we are at a point where we are discussing options, uh, not at a point where, we're, where we clearly want to make a move, but we, we are discussing possibility of uh, well, like thinking about the future and where, where do we want to go, what can we do and stuff like that. So th these are discussions that we're having, but no, nothing... Uh, Nothing hard on the table, like no, no, okay, we're leaving pure blind, or it's not, it's not like that at all. It's just, just for now, it's just uh, 
armchairing and uh, throwing ideas around just to see like because uh, because the thing is we want we 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 do want to keep growing as an alliance uh and if you look at the number of active pilot per system we probably have the highest density in all, all of your blind of number of active pilot per system uh so uh, it is starting to see like you see in q5 right now we've got like 22 uh, 22 pilot 21 of which are our alliance uh so uh that, that's pretty much it uh what you will see in next week like i said hopefully uh, we're we're gonna be able to grab a little bit uh oh yeah one thing i need to announce is uh, next friday we're gonna do our drake fleet uh when we arrive in the in when we arrive in pure, pure blind initially uh the rfc uh challenged us to keep the ADM level at five in all of our system, they've they you don't see them here, but today, uh, the the ADM we managed to push those three system by mining to five, so we managed to get all our ADM above five in the in the system we hold, and the reward for that was RFC eight uh, eight Drakes with a passion. Uh, but he challenged us to to raise the adm and if we succeeded we would get a drake fleet so everybody will be able to bring their drake and we're going to have a drake fleet fleet uh, next friday oh so that that's that's one of our big highlight but anyway i hope you guys enjoy i've been rambling enough for today and uh, if you got any question any comments just write it below if you like Click like if you like the show, subscribe. And uh, that's it. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.